All right, welcome to uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, here I am with my second run. <laughs> Jesus, I'm getting some Doki Doki shivers right now. Welcome back to Lucy, the eternity she wished for, who apparently Lucy comes back from the grave. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 man. And what? And October twelfth. Oh, Lucy, the eternity she wished for, and October twelfth. So this was. Uh, what is? Yes, yes. Doctor. Hmm. So, this is another backstory that I kind of want to figure out right now. Today is October 12th. Lucy. Ah, it's so good to hear her voice again. <laughs> oh, it's so good to hear her voice, honestly. We have somewhere to go today. With a grim expression, I whisper softly. Well, Precisely. It depends on how you look at it. I reply calmly. It could very well be. Hmm. I, I, I don't know where this fits into the timeline actually because I don't really pay attention to the dates but I know that this was before you know you met her but is this after the the very latest one that we also read without another word Lucy begins to trot along behind behind me Andrew oh it's Andrew it's this man yes doctor I leave the rest to you Wow that's not menacing. That doesn't sound menacing at all. Understood. Have a safe journey. Okay, robotics. Oh, did he come out? Did he come out of K Robotics? The nearby junkyard. Oh, I know what exactly we're gonna do here. I know exactly what's going on. That's right. You mean you have this? You mean you have business at the junkyard? Uh. Uh oh. You'll see once we get there. Just carrying like a bat, <laughs> ready to strike at her once he gets there. Uh. So this is the uh, the very beginning. Kind of where it, where it starts, really. October twelfth. I attempt to sound as natural as possible, so as so as not to raise my any alarms, but it appears that she's seen right through my facade. Lucy, who is now aware of my serious demonor, begins to cower slightly. After that, there weren't many other exchanges between us. Both of us continue to walk in silence. Aww. Why don't you just disassemble her instead of just like turning her off and putting her in the junkyard? I'm like what? After a while, I decide to steal a glance at Lucy. I notice that she's trying to read my face without making it too obvious. To tell you the truth... Hi? No, actually, it's nothing. Without finishing my sentence, I keep my mouth shut. Lucy tilts her head in confusion. She repeatedly, repeatedly opens and closes her mouth. On her way to the junkyard, of course. <laughs> Her dialogue ends prematurely. After failing to get any response out of me, Lucy turns quiet. We continue to walk out without exchanging another word. We only continue to walk in dead silence. Uh, well, you already know what's going to happen. Why don't they just get to it? 
Lucy musters up her courage once more. I'm fine. Hmm. Until we reach the center of the junkyard. Yes. There is something there. There will be something there. No, there's nothing there. <laughs> the conversation veers into a silence once more. I feel sorry for Lucy, but I sincerely wasn't in the mood to talk. With heavy footsteps, I carry on. Dude. Just get to it. Come on. This is all pointless. Why do I want to see Lucy in the junkyard so badly? I don't know why. We enter the junkyard, a place rabid for with ear deafening noises. A place that con that's constantly filled to, to the brim with waste. After taking a deep breath, I continue on my way. Suddenly, Lucy breaks the silence once more. Uh oh, she finally found out. <laughs> what is it? Go ahead. Lucy,は何か大きな失敗でもしたのでしょうか。Lucy,は博士に対して悪いことでもしたのでしょうか。<laughs> what are you talking about all of a sudden? わかります。Anyone <laughs> can tell. <laughs> Her words throw me off guard, but I, qu I quickly regain my composure. It is said that animals being taken to the slaughterhouse can already sense their approaching death. I'm not surprised that such a brilliant android like her is being able to read the moon. I decide to tell her the truth. It's just as you say. I... I was planning to banish you from the laboratory. Banish you, Lucy Valentine, from the lab premises. I think it was because she was too good of an android, I think, that they had to actually just... I don't know. She deserves an answer, really. The authority has finally made an official decision. I was ordered to get rid of you. <laughs> now the authorities don't like you. That's right. You've... Definitely turned out wonderful, but the risk we face by keeping you alive is too great. Humanity will suffer more compared to what you would what we would gain. Do you understand? That is why we're getting they're getting rid of you. It's what a lot of people want. After long, countless de debates, this is the decision they ended up with: that Lucy's existence, your existence, is too great of a threat that they will not allow such beings to exist that they do not want that they do not wish to create a world where hundreds of millions of androids like you will be running amok that is what everyone said lucy in the end you were rejected by human society it was decided that you will not be allowed to coexist with mankind jesus <laughs> So she's too good of an android to be kept alive. That's understandable. No, but it is, really. Because it's like, uh, well... If you can't differentiate humans and androids, it's gonna be a problem. Essentially. I wasn't too bitter over the decision. I'd been expecting it from the start, actually. The only thing I was concerned about was time. The time it would take 
for them to make this decision. Yes, their choice has always been remained the same. Even now, nothing has changed. Yet Lucy refuses to accept this, the in inevitable. Lucy <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if she changes or not. She has the wrong idea of it. <laughs> oh my god, wow. <laughs> it's like seeing Lucy just die twice in one day. Oh my god, cause yeah, I, I, whatever. There's something you need to understand. Even if you're allowed to stay, things won't be the same anymore. It's not possible for me to keep you at the laboratory any longer. This decision was agreed upon nearly all the people who are aware of your existence. It's simply out of my hands. However, I have no intention of letting you be crushed to bits. It would be unthinkable for me to do such a thing, <laughs> of course, to someone who has stayed by my side all this time. That is why. Feeling like my insides are being torn apart, I look straight into Lucy's eyes. I regretfully spit out the following words. This is why, starting today, on October 12th, I will grant you freedom, Lucy Valentine. You are liberated from your duties at the lavatory. You can no, you no longer need to listen to anyone's orders, and you're free to go wherever you wish. Go wherever you wish and do whatever you wish. Yes, travel whenever, wherever you may choose. Find a good master, someone who will sincerely care for you, and live on happily with your master. That is my final order. <laughs> oh, I didn't work so much. <laughs> uh. Lucy remained silent. She stood frozen with her head slouched forward. <laughs> I did not reply. This time I was silent. I gave her I gave her a puzzled look. Lucy manages to force a smile despite being on the verge of breaking down in tears. Lucy steps forward. She motions towards me with her eyes, hinting that she wished to resume our final walk together. I nod and begin to shuffle my own feet along. Our destination was merely a few meters away, but my feet felt felt le le leaden. leaden. What, 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 what? Each step forward took a lot of effort for both Lucy and I. Not a word was exchanged between us. We were silent for the rest of the way. Hmm. Hey, it's your fault for creating a robot <laughs> that literally mimics a human being. Come on, man. Finally, we had reached our destination. Here we are. This is where we part. It's time for you to choose your own path. With her head cast low, Lucy remained silent. Then she slowly raised her eyes. As of this moment, I relinquish all of my authority over you. From now on, you have no obligation to obey any human being. You are free to live as you please. Whatever, whether you choose to live as a human or reveal your identity as an android is entirely your choice. Just as long as you're happy. There was no response from Lucy. She didn't seem to be paying attention to my words. Ah, uh, she was staring vaguely at a certain spot along the ground. Puzzled, I called out to her. Lucy? Huh. 
It took her a while for Lucy to respond. Her behavior was most peculiar. I cannot fathom her expression. She continued a flat tone of voice. でも my heart skips a beat upon hearing those words. It was not enough. It was just talking. My heart, which once had been frozen solid, is now thumping furiously. Her quivering eyes turned to face me. I meet her gaze full of anticipation. Oh. What's happening? What? What? With eyes full of tears, Lucy was smiling at me, just like her old self that I used to love so much. While saying those words I've been hoping to hear for so long. Calling me master while smilingly cheerfully? Like I'd always dreamed about. It was a scene I've been fantasizing about every waking moment. I spoke with a quivering voice. Fifteen years. It's been fifteen years. That's how long it's taken me to get you back. From the moment I lost you in front of my home. What? What? No. What? So much time has passed. I worked hard, very hard all those years. I majored in robotic engineering despite my hatred of the subject. I traveled all over the world to learn from the most renowned experts in their field. I was able to repair the broken parts and make them new again. I researched the workings of your internals and mastered a variety of skills requiring intensive training, and I spent nightless days trying to recover the memory chips that were damaged beyond use. It... It, went, it wasn't exactly a walk in the park, and after all these years, I was finally able to restore you. But... When you woke up, you didn't recognize me at all. Meaning, I had failed to recover your memories, and after that, my confidence spiraled down. After seeing that you couldn't remember anything. After hearing you call me doctor instead of master. After hearing you talk about wanting to meet your master as soon as possible. After watching your unfamiliar gestures and smiles. I couldn't be sure if you really were the same Lucy from the past. And that's why I thought that. If you weren't the same Lucy as I knew from the past. If you weren't the same Lucy that once held me dear. Then you deserved a fresh start with a different master. I thought maybe there was another master for you out there that can get along with you better than I ever did. Just thinking about it was painful, but I thought maybe that it would be best for you. And that's why I had decided to send you off. Their decision to get rid of you had only made mine more resolute. I had been planning to part with you on this day all along, because it was the day we first met. And, it, at, and at the place where I first found you, I intended to bid you farewell. Which is why I brought you here. But 
I restrained from sobbing. But you remembered me. You finally remembered me. I almost collapsed from exhaustion while waiting for you. It really did take a frustratingly long time. But in the end, you remembered me. Now that, 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 that doesn't make any sense! What? That, what? You are the doctor? Uh, what, is, what is this parent? Like, what? Then, the timelines... I really should have just taken a look at the timeline. I should have... I, I need to take a look at the timeline. Jesus! This is... Wow, this is Danganronpa level plot twists. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, let's continue. And that's all that matters. Lucy <laughs> I do. And now I can trust you. Even though you were destroyed beyond recognition. Even though your memory chips were damaged beyond repair. Even with all that, there really was something left inside of you that contained your identity. And now, I can trust that you are the same Lucy that I used to know back then. Lucy, <laughs> Lucy shakes her head and corrects herself. Master <laughs> My wish. The eternity I truly wished for. Before I'd realized it, the tears were already running down my cheeks. It tasted salty. <sighs> so this is the truth. <laughs> I see. So it truly has been a long time. <laughs> Every passing day has been absolutely grueling. I've been so lonely all this time. I've lost so many things. All the time I could have spent as could have spent with you. All the memories I could have made with you. Fifteen years worth of my life. I've lost them whole. I'm I'm still worried. Is the master in front of you really the same person from the past? I may have changed in some inconceivable way. I have aged somewhat since we last met. I've gained a few pounds, and I've gotten wrinkles here and there. Then there's my beard. I've just let it grow over the years. <clears throat> However, if you're fine with such an unsightly man like me, will you come with me? Will you continue to stay by my side? Oh. <laughs> I'm not crying, you are! <laughs> Just from those words. Just from those words, I was saved. 
for my exhausted mind had deteriorated so much with time. Those words were enough to properly soothe the pain and suffering. That was all it took to satisfy me. That was all it took to acknowledge that my efforts weren't in vain. I'm well aware that Lucy is an imitation. She's the closest imitation to a human being compared to anything else in the world. It was just that, to me, she was just worth so much more than anything real. The Lucy in front of me, who was shedding tears for my sake. She was someone who I cared for dearly. Losing her had affected me far more than I could have ever imagined. I was already forced to part with her from her once. Never will I lose her a second time. And now, I will chase the eternity I wished for, together with Lucy. Oh my god. <laughs> this is soothing. This honestly is soothing. <laughs> so this is the true ending. This is the true ending that I've been wanting. I gotta give you props, man. Oh, and there's a song too with them. It's also in Korean, though. But, okay. I'm gonna talk while, this, while the credits go on, but... I guess it makes sense. So, they messed the timeline up, I guess. Lucy, okay, so you're the doctor. There's no, uh, there's no way around it. Apparently, you're the doctor. So the events that were the doc, the, the the scenes that the doctor were from, you know, the you know, you're talking to Lucy and stuff, that happened after uh, Lucy died. You know. So then, how did you meet Lucy in the graveyard the first time? You know. That's we that's the weirdest thing. How how why how did how did the main character find him her in the uh, how did the main character find her in the in the grave the first time? Like what was her, what was the backstory before then? You know? Um What about that? I, I, I don't get that. Like did you, did you just randomly pop there? Because hmm. I don't, I don't get that part, you know? There has to be something more to that, then. That's the only thing that bothers me. I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure if they remember any of that, but... Oh, Finn. Finn, Finn, Finn. That's a soothing ending. That's a really... I think that's really amazing. Unto Eternity. Reunion. So there's more extras that I can always do, but I'll do them another time. <laughs> My heart can't take it anymore. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so tiny. Lucy, the eternity she wished for, and what I wished for, or wish for. Oh, this is so this is so amazing. Like if you cried. <laughs> I want likes. Let's see the actions though. There's achievements. Oh, there you go. Reunion. I'm still missing two of them, but I'm assuming from the choices that I'm that I can do, maybe I'll get them. Uh oh. Kept the flyer. Butterfly effect. Assisted Lucy with the laundry. Found Lucy on October. Okay. You found Lucy on October 21st. October 21st. Alright. I guess. Dream of Life Trip. Found out what Lucy wishes for. Forgotten memory. Recalled the name long forgotten. Alright, so that's a bad ending. I, you just, just say that right now. That's a bad ending. Even though it had like a, even though it had like a good tone to it, it was a bad ending. Unto eternity. Reach the true ending. Oh. 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 Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine left. 
and I do plan on getting them. And yeah, I do. I think there's more as you know those. So uh, apparently, this is inevitable. This this will always be an inevitable. This this is a scene that'll always happen. I'm assuming. But there's more. There is more to it. I think. You know, I always think there's more to it. Oh, I'm assuming reunion is the 21st. I think. I think he's just replaying that October 12th thing. Well, that's a. That sheds some light on myself. <laughs> I think the choices don't even matter, by the way. I think they matter for a little bit, but I think the ending will always be the same. What is his name? Oh. But, hey, that was Lucy, the eternity she wished for, and what I wished for. Um, next video, I'll try and get. I'll try to be an accomplisher, maybe get all the achievements. It's gonna be like a little like cut by cut thing, but I'm gonna try and you know be a hundred percent completionist on this thing. But you know, other than that, I don't think there's anything more going on except for those two extra options that I don't have. I'm really curious to what they are. Uh, I'm curious to see what you know the dad's backstory, maybe with you know more character plot towards the other characters other than Lucy, but this is satisfying enough, honestly. Uh, that's that's it for me, really. <laughs> it was a, this was a really good visual novel. This was a really great visual novel. Really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. Now on to my next one. Hopefully, I, <laughs> I don't know if I'll do another one, because I really wanted to just finish this and be done with visual novels for my channel, but, you know, I might do more. This was a really good one. I'm gonna leave a positive review on this, you know, on this game. It's, it's, it's a really fun game. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> thank you for. Thank you for. If you're. <laughs> if you've been here since the very beginning, thank you for accompanying me on this journey. It's been really fun. And. Thank you. And goodbye. <laughs>